<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back. We are doing another subreddit video today. I'm very excited to check out the subreddit and see what the community's been up to. See what this beautiful community that I've fostered has been conjuring up the past couple weeks. So let's hop into it. Let's go top of the month. Alpha male YouTube hates Danny. So this is a picture of a video from five years ago when Laura did my makeup and that's a clown. And then here's a man who has also a design on his face, but his is tattooed on. They could have picked so many manly men that didn't also have paint on their face. So I'm a clown and he's a man because I'm wearing makeup and he is not. I assume that's what it means. It's only 30 seconds long, it looks like. What are they gonna say about me? Are they gonna make me sad? We'll go search it up. All right, let's check it out, man. Oh, holy shit. Wait, am I even in this video? This video has nothing to do with me. Stop being weak. Take responsibility for your life. You are not a baby. You are a man. Fight for your goals. Nothing worthy is given free. I'm sorry, what the fuck did that video have to do with me? That video was not about me at all. The thing is, on rare occasion, videos like this do like make a point. Like, hey, take some responsibility in your life. Obviously, there's forces outside everybody's control that you can't, but you know, it is your life. Don't let others control it. Like, sure, yeah. Be your own person. Think for yourself. That's great. But just it's not, it's not really about what you say sometimes, it's about how you say it. Granted, a lot of these channels are super toxic. I'm not trying to act. I'm not trying to say like I agree with all these channels, but like, you know, if if being masculine is important to you, do that. Just don't be an asshole. You can be masculine without being a dick. I do think it's kind of funny that they say it is your life, don't let others control it. Right after it showed someone who's clearly in the military. Y'all know what being in the military is, right? You don't just get to like do whatever you want. That's not, they don't just like send you off and are like, you. we trust you. Go ahead, you get the job done. Whatever job you want, get it done. Be a man, don't let others control you. Join the name. Maybe. This clip for one of the beta males they use is like a guy getting emotional over a trailer for Star Wars. I've always thought that was so fucked up to make fun of people for getting like emotional over a franchise that's really important to them. This video is just as corny as crying about Star Wars. How could someone possibly call Danny soy when he literally has the endorsement of the liver king? That's a good point, dude. Are you a primal? I didn't think so. They should have man here and then king here. They should say liver prince. <laughs> These AI boyfriends are getting out of control. What are your thoughts on Danny Gonzalez? I think Danny Gonzalez is a great singer and songwriter. Wow, how kind of him to say. Yes, that is his name. He was born in New York City, but moved to Los Angeles when he was very young. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Wow, doubling down. His real name is Peter Gene Hernandez, but he goes by Danny. OMG, I never knew that. I slowly thrust? It's okay, I didn't know that until a few years ago when I started listening to his music. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? You know what, I'll agree with the, the original statement of this post. These AI bots are getting out of control. Yeah, let me just tell you like an incorrect fact and then slowly thrust, and then like gaslight you about the thing I just told you. Does the AI bot just like make this shit up or are they getting this information from somewhere? Like is he confused or is he just lying? I should do a video where I try, I talk to more AI bots. I slowly thrust. Oh, they were trying to get, they were getting their point across. Yeah, his name's actually Peter Gene Hernandez. That actually is his name. Don't believe me? Yeah, it's all right you didn't know that. I didn't know either until I started listening to his music, so. Okay, we got me having a lot of fun with my main and second channel videos. Meanwhile, my subreddit videos are drowning and then underwater dead is my gaming channel. Yeah, I mean yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't really post there anymore. I, I mean, it was fun to do for a while, but I'm just like not really a gamer. And that was also like super time consuming. It was just like a ton of time to devote to something I wasn't like super into. It was fun. Like I liked live streaming. Maybe if someday I'll live stream and not game. Like, you know, I could do videos like this, like reaction stuff on live and then cut it down for second channel videos. That could be kind of cool. I miss his GTA series. I'm so sad he didn't keep up with that. It was thoroughly enjoyable. I guess it's nice that people liked watching those, but I am, I'm like really bad at every video. Game. Oh, we got an ad in here. Let's see. What kind of bad mobile ad do we have today?
So she killed the baby. She had a baby. She loads the washer. Oh, she still has the pile of clothes in her hands and not the baby. The baby's binkies on the ground. So you can decide whether to throw everything in the trash or destroy everything with a hammer. Oh, and then you kind of just turn it into a second living room. That's tight. It's so interesting with these ads because there's no way this actually happens in the game. She got over murdering her baby real fast. Hey, we don't know how much time was in between there. This could have been months. Could have been years. We don't know how much time passed in between her finding the binky and destroying her infant son's room. Why are you guys still supporting Danny Gonzalez like the police didn't find human remains as evidence of cannibalism in his LA home that he sold in 2013? Okay. People change, all right? People grow. That was like eight years ago. What do you want me to do? I could go back to eating people. You, would that make you happy? You want me to do that shit again? I don't think so. So how about just forgive me? I merged Danny with Danny. I guess you could say this is literally too Danny, too furious. Ooh, this is weird. It's double Danny. This looks more like me than I did. That's awful. It's like every feature of my face is like double. Actually, it's kind of not. It actually doesn't really look like me. It's just kind of uncanny. Danny. It tried to make my face end right here, but then also made it end over here. How does Danny and Danny look less like Danny? Man's looks like a Tommy or Daniel or something. Yeah, he looks more like a Tom than a Danny. Can we get a Tom check? What do we think about Tom? Can we get a temperature check on whether this is Tom or not? Let me know in the comments. If I had to name this person, I don't think I would say Tom, honestly. To me, this looks like a Henry or something. Honestly, he looks British and he looks like his name would be Henry. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a comment from my last video about the MGK movie. Let's read it. I've watched your videos for years, Danny, but you're just straight up hating on him in this video. This is neither the best nor funniest movie review you did. That really hurts to hear because every time I am trying to make literally the best video I've ever made, even though I've made hundreds of videos, I still expect each one to be literally the best video I've ever made. So that does really hurt to hear. You don't need to jump on the hate train, love. You're better than that. This movie was obviously dripping in irony and sarcasm. I agree that it's a very well written nor necessarily the best directed movie, haha. I think that mean I agree it's not very well written or the best directed. So it's, yeah, so it's a bad movie is what you're saying? I agree. But he's just a guy, not given a single fuck. That was part of the problem with the movie actually, it's that it, no one seemed like they cared. Doing whatever he wants to do, putting stupid jokes in and shit. Does this person agree with me? At first he was like, Danny, I'm sorry, but you're just hating on the movie for no reason. Sure, was it a bad movie? Yeah. Did it seem like he didn't give a fuck and was just throwing in bad jokes? joke after bad joke? Yeah. And were those all points you brought up during the review? Yeah. So... What was I saying again? But he probably didn't try winning an award. Don't tear people down for views, Danny. What I do on my channel all the time. You could have made this video funnier by being more neutral. Well, that's just not true. It always is kind of interesting because, you know, I have like such a wide audience that some occasionally I will make fun of something that do, like has some kind of intersection with my fan base. And so it's kind of interesting to see how people react when that happens. Oftentimes people are like, hey, you know, I like this thing, but I don't mind seeing somebody joke about it. Usually people have a sense of humor about that kind of thing or they'll leave like a jokingly upset response it is kind of funny to see someone who's watched my videos for years this person has watched me poke fun at other movies for years and then the second i make fun of an artist this person is clearly a very big fan of they're like you know you don't have to hate on everything you should be more neutral wow marmaduke stand in the wild <laughs> imagine this comment on any other video on the marmaduke video the ratatouing video danny i'm sorry but you did not have to jump on the hate bandwagon marcel has it hard enough as it is he was clearly just having fun with he didn't give a fuck. He was just trying to steal some strawberries from the kitchen. They're wrong for that. MGK sucks balls. Okay, XEM1S, I've been a fan of your comments for years and I've seen you say that countless other people suck balls and thought it was funny every other time, but you really crossed the line with this one. MGK is untouchable. He's a god and he, sure, he sucks balls, but when he does it, it's because he doesn't give a fuck. Danny as Marmaduke. I like that they, they put my picture on like a, a picture of someone else doing yoga. You can tell because they kept like the Google image results. Keeping it simple. Hands and. This is Marmaduke doing yoga. Whoa! Somebody drew me as a freaking Jedi and a Mandalorian? Okay, that's sick. That's so cool. Wow. So that's what I would look like if I was a Jedi. I'd make a cool ass Jedi. That's sick. Thank you for making that. Okay. Alright. I gotta come clean about something. I didn't want this to turn into a whole thing, okay? But there's been some misinformation that's gotten a little bit out of hand with this post, so I need to 
to just, we need to talk about it, okay? This was a clip from the video where I was trying to find the worst iPhone game. I'll just let you watch it and then, and then we can talk about it. If you want to kill your entire family and swap them out with people that look different, um, uh, Oh, hello. Okay, so this person who posted it said screaming dog and then a person underneath said I think it was the guy I remember rewinding the vid over and over to figure out what it was XD someone said still not sure who it is He needs to explain this clip. I need to know where the scream came from I didn't mean for it to be so confusing honestly I thought people would know that I just edited in that scream But a lot of people thought that it was this old man like screaming for his dog to come back because it was just such a short clip It's kind of hard to tell I guess it's just a scream screaming sound effect. I thought it would be funny if the dog screamed when it ran away. So I threw in a dog screaming sound effect and I've seen a lot of misinformation of people saying it was the old man screaming at his dog. It was not, all right? It was just a funny little edit. Yeah, knowing Danny, it's just an edit. See, Woomby, that's why you know me best. You really do know me. This is my good friend, Woomby. Woomby bye? Woomby B? Yeah, it's my good friend. Hey, what video is this from? Danny's YouTube channel. I like to do Danny portraits for art practice and wanted to share. Oh, that's kind of sick. This is cool. I like. I love the color. Actually the yellow and the blue contrast really well. That's actually a sick ass picture. That's really cool, too These are all really good like are are these actually paintings? They look so good that it's like, is this like a just a filter on a picture? But no, I guess it does look like they drew. Yeah, they definitely drew this one. That's insane. These are really cool. Look at the detail in my hand. That's awesome. Nice job. Two thumbs right up my own ass. All right, I'm feeling a little bit crazy today. So what the heck? You know what? Let's go instead of top of the month. Let's just go new and see what people are posting on right in this very moment. We should all show our favorite Danny videos. Here's mine. The Joker video. That's a pretty solid video. I actually really like that one. I haven't gone back and looked at that video in a long time, but I remember it being really funny. Sometimes you just come across like a gold mine that is just so funny on its own that it makes making the video really easy. Like I sat down to write that video and I feel like it just like, it just poured right out of me. It's just so ridiculous. It's like, how could I not write a good video about that, you know? Okay, this person said, trying Troom Troom's awful kidnapping hacks. That one's pretty good too. That one came out, I think like a year ago and is still like consistently one of my like most viewed videos every month. I wonder if I could pick my favorite video that I've ever done. I think I could. Let me think. I think my favorite video I've ever done was the Tesla video. That was like the most fun to make. I think it turned out really well. I was like really excited the whole time I was making it. Got everything everything that I look for. I am working on a video right now currently that I think has the possibility to be my new favorite video. It's another one of those videos that like, I feel really excited the whole time I'm working on. I guess I don't really know when it'll come out, but I've got, I'm gonna go shoot it like in less than a week. So I'm really excited about it. Guess you'll just have to wait and see what it is. Whoa, I made a GIF of random frames from every single video from Danny. Oh, this is crazy. It'd be really cool whoever made this if you did it in order. I. It'd be cool to see like a progression of like how my videos have changed over the years. But it's just kind of like in a random order, but still really interesting to see. I've filmed in so many different rooms. That's really cool. That must have taken forever. <laughs> how many videos do I have? I don't even know. I've got 262 videos. Why does Danny constantly look like he was just told there was homework? I don't know what you mean by that. But I resent that comment. Probably because I'm always watching like the weirdest thing possible on my channel. And uh, I guess I just make that face sometimes, man. Interesting. I'm Netflix, Drew is HBO Max, and Curtis is Disney Plus. I don't know about that. I don't know. Don't do Drew dirty like this. He's definitely Hulu. Don't do Drew dirty is an insane tongue twister. Don't do Drew dirty. Don't do Drew. Don't do Drew dirty. No, Drew, 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 Drew. I feel like none of them fit. It's hard to even compare people to streaming services. It's like, I don't know if I fuck with it. All right, well, you know what? I think that's enough for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.